Hey guys, Doc. So I'm out here at the farm today. Uh, got a shed being put in. David's up there doing some tilling on the fields for our new food plots for uh, late summer, early fall food plots for the deer. Today, I'm gonna show you probably the coolest thing for, if you're a deer hunter, the greatest thing that has come out in a long time as far as security cameras go, security cameras, deer cam, game cameras go. Um, I'm gonna, unlike most videos, I'm not gonna do a long unboxing. My unboxing video is about 30 seconds. I'll show you what comes with it. I'll show you the basic features, but the coolest thing about this is that you can pull it up live. You can look what's going on. There's no Wi-Fi needed. It runs off cellular. You can go up and pan, up and down, back and right. All kinds of cool features. First, in the description below, I always put one link. And what I do with that one link is I build a web page with all the information. So I'll put all the specs on this camera. Um, I'll put where you can buy it. I'll put a link to it because it was only available pre-order. Now I believe that it is in stock, so you can order it. I'll find the best link and I'll keep it updated for you guys. But dude, you gotta see this thing, it's great. Here we go. Let me address, let me just show you what comes in the box real quick my 20 second unboxing video. So this is basically the box. It's gonna come with your with your camera. So that's your camera, okay? Then it's gonna come with an antenna. It's gonna come with a solar panel. This actually clips on the, holds up your camera. And then this thing holds up your, uh, your solar charger. So one of the great features about this camera is that you never have to replace batteries. It has a solar panel. And uh, the way I have it positioned, it doesn't get full sun all day. It just gets decent light and it stays charged all the time. So it is solar, you don't have to worry about batteries. Number two, it works on 4G network. So it works over the Wi-Fi, it works over uh, cell phone signal. It's not Wi-Fi based. And that's critical to remote locations. So any place that you have that signal, you can put this up. Out here at this old house, we don't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> we have to still have to run cables out here. Let me talk about the SIM card. Uh, versus the SD card. It comes, I think these come with an SD card, a little storage card. If not, you can get your, get a storage card for 10, 20 bucks. And that stores your videos. What's cool about that is when the card, and, the, and you, you access it and it plays back your videos off the card. When the card gets full, it'll automatically start wiping that card and, and so you don't have to pull and add a new card. You just leave it up there. So that's a cool feature. It actually deletes old videos when it gets full. Let's talk about the um, SIM card. The SIM card. There are a bunch of people out there that are going to try and sh tell you about, you know, these online services and go over. I'm telling you, the best thing to do is T-Mobile. I've got T-Mobile on this, no problem. You can get two gigs a month for like 10 or 20 bucks or something, and it's absolutely worth it. However, when you get your T-Mobile, to get a T-Mobile SIM card, what you need to do is if you don't have a T-Mobile account, or anyways, you can't get it on their website. You cannot go online and get this. It's impossible. So you pick out a pick up a phone, you gotta talk to an agent, and you tell them, you say, I need a data only SIM card for a security camera. That's all you have to do. And they'll either create an account for you or whatever, and then they ship it out, it arrives in two days, and you get your SIM card, you plug it into your camera, you turn it on, it'll go through, you put the app on your phone, it's really simple, it's not hard at all. Um, it has a, one thing about this, it does have an automatic update feature that I have not tried. So you can, the camera will update automatically for you or you can do it manually. Um, I have not tried that yet. And there's a ton of features that you can do. You can control everything you want about this. It's, it's just, it's too long to go into this video. It would be about two hours long. The biggest thing about this is at any time I can pull up and see what's going on, number one. Number two, if I get an alert, get an immediate alert that there's motion at one of my food plots or whatever, I can also go ahead and I can pull up that video and now I can pan left and right, up and down, and I can watch what's actually going on. Here's the other thing. How many times are you getting ready to go into a stand and you're wondering, am I gonna spook a whole bunch of deer? Well, before you go into your stand, guess what? You can pull up your camera and check and see, am I gonna spook a whole bunch of deer or should I wait? <laughs> so there's a bunch of different options with this. That's about it. So I'm gonna go mount it and I'll show you. Okay, so here's the monster stand we built this year. <laughs> Now I ordered those stand brackets by the way on eBay and then I designed the stand myself, but man, that thing is just, that's amazing up there. We just finished putting the door on it. I got to build a ladder up to it, but man. So I've got, there's like a deep culvert down here with a little old creek behind me. 
Um, the stand itself is actually facing this way and I have a feeder here and I have a feeder here and this place is just loaded with deer. I've got all kinds of stuff here. I probably need to open up a couple shooting lanes because Ryan said he wanted to bring a bow back here but I mean it's just we get pounded with deer so I've got as you can see I've got this is what we use we use these cheap spy points back here now I do have up up in the front I have uh, three solars and I have two regular battery powered ones I really want to be able to see both of these feeders if I wanted to and that's the nice thing about this camera is I can go over here and see what's up and I can point it over here see what's up and if I possibly can see my stand see if anybody's messing with it so I got to figure out where I want to put this thing so I'm gonna figure it out and then I'll go ahead and show you after I install it. So there it is, installed. Let me give you a couple tips real quick. Um, I like to install the solar panel close to the, just a couple inches above that and it acts sort of as a rain shield, which is kind of nice. The other thing is uh, there's a lot of wire, so you might want to bring a twisty. I have not, I just wrap my wire up around it right now. So the, the power, they send a long power cord that goes from the solar camera to the actual camera in case you want to put the solar panel way up somewhere else. But, so I'm gonna to go to my Real Link app. So I go to Real Link and I already have it on that. And let's see, I do not have a good phone. AT&T sucks around here, by the way. Um, and it's showing me that it has four bars, four bars of um, 4G. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go connect. Let's see if it'll actually pull it up so I can hear myself talking. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch this. Let's go down and there I am. So if I wanna pan over and look at that other feeder, I can go way over there. If I wanna go Let's see if I can see my stand. I don't think so. Huh, oh, look at that. So man, you get a full view. Um, you can pretty much get... Let me shut them. I hear myself talking in the background. So where this camera is, you can go all the way back over here. And then you can go all the way back over here. It does not do a full 360. Um, but it, there is a stopping point so I can go way over here and look and then I can go way over here, here and look So it's really cool. So if you have a place where you have a couple different game trails uh, In here you can set it up on one one night set it up on another another night and set it up on another and Turn it on you have your alerts you can turn your alerts on and off your motion alerts on and off again the amount of settings in here is is really in depth so and i'm not going to go over that because it would take me in like 30 minutes to go over them all but basically you turn it on when you get an alert it'll instantly alert you you can get them via email you can get them via text message you can push it to your phone okay guys so i finished installing my video camera my new live video camera over here and let me give you one little tip if anytime you put out a new camera anytime you put out a new camera here's what you want to do get a bag of moonshine gold now we developed helped develop this with the andersons and um, this is nice because you put it in your backpack um, and take it with you it's distilled it's the it's called moonshine gold because it comes from the distilling process it's everything that's good about what's rejected when they make booze and alcohol so man it smells so sweet it's sicky sweet it has molasses particles and it has the corn concentrates in it this is not a feed this is an attractant this is an odor but man they absolutely love it so why not so I've got a feeder, I've got a block here, but what I'll do is anytime I set out a new game camera, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna pour myself a line right in front of my game camera, just like that. Pick up little packets that come out of it. And what I'm doing is I'm actually creating a long scent line. So this stuff, they can smell this stuff from 100 yards away. You don't want to put it out during any kind of rain event. It works best when it's dry. But you just put out a long line of it. And man, this scent line will just carry and they'll come right in. We've, we've done this time and time again over the past two years. 
and we've had deer come into this within 45 minutes <laughs> it's crazy so get a bag of moonshine gold uh, i think it's three bags to a case it's up on amazon i'll put a link in the description below if you go into your stand the night before you know you're going to hunt a stand put out a line of this if you had to put up a game camera put out a line of moonshine gold it's pretty cool so I'm about to tell you about a couple of features that I think need to be added, but I also want to let you know that, dude, this is like the most fun I've had with a camera in a long time. <laughs> I mean, I'm pulling it up. And last night I had these bucks come in and there's a, there's a nice 10 point back there that Ryan's like, dude, I'm going to get that buck. And I said, I sent him the video. I said, dude, I'm sitting here watching him right now live. He's out there eating with two other or three other eight pointers out there. So it's just so much fun. If you got a job, don't get this. Don't get this camera because you'll be at your job pulling up videos live all day. It's just so cool. It's a fun way to do it. It's so much fun. But let me tell you about two features that I think need to be added to this camera. That kind of make it would make it so much better to hold of. Now I want you to understand something. I have had this same camera, but in the home security version for months out here at the farm, and I absolutely love it. By the way, I'm about to get rained on. Let me tell you the two features I think that it really needs. Priority number one is going to be um, the time delay on recording. So on almost all game cameras, once that camera takes a picture or photo or video, you select, do I wanna wait one minute, three minutes, five minutes, or 10 minutes until I take another photo? So there needs to be a record or trigger delay on this. That has to be instituted on this camera. So you guys over at the camera shop, you need to put that into your, one of your next software updates and I'm sure they will. Number two, I would like to have the ability to not always capture video. So I would like to be able to put this thing into a mode where it just takes pictures, 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 and I can scroll through my pictures. And if I get an alert, I can pull it up, see the picture and I can turn on and I can live view video. So understand what I'm saying. I would like it to, instead of consistently taking videos, 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 I would like it to be able to go into a normal game camera mode where it takes pictures, 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 and then if I want to take, if I want to pull it up and view video, I can. So those are the two kind of drawbacks right now to the camera, I think. But other than that, I give it probably a B plus, A minus. If they put those two features on the camera, I'll give it a straight A. I almost give no one an A plus but I'll give it a straight A. Again, I have had this camera in the home version, I'll show you here in a minute, in the home version on this house for a long time and it's absolutely flawless. I've had no problems. So when they came out with this one, I said, heck yeah, I'm gonna get one of these things. So I got one of them. Um, what else? That's about it. Like I said, in the description below, I will link to the current place to buy them because it's kind of, you almost have to go to their website to buy it and then there's a code. Anyways, hope this helped. I really love it. Talk to you later. Die.